Yeah, well, Marcy, of course. He's always threatening to leave. But then somewhere between the house and the Dodge, he realizes he'd have to break in a new toilet seat. <laughs> Damn, I never thought he'd think of that. <laughs> Let me call you back. So where do you think you're going? To live the life I should have had. <laughs> so what corner will you be washing windshields on? <laughs> Wouldn't you love to know? OK, Al. Go on, just go. But don't take anything out of this house. Well, I did kind of want the couch, but then your butt would have to go, too. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I thinking about? I almost forgot the two most important things. What are we gonna do about custody? Well, obviously they should stay with me. I'm the one who spends the most time with them. While I worked to put a roof over their heads but still had time to listen to their stories, to laugh with them, to cry with them. Yes, but who stayed up with them all night? Oh, God. I just don't think I can live without them. Well, me either. Well, we'll just have to split them. You take the little colored one. I can't watch football on that little TV. Kelly, I told you to shovel the snow. I have to shovel. Oh, no, shovel it. The kids. This could scar them for life. Peg, don't worry. If they can survive seeing your mother's bathing suit fall off, they can get through this. <laughs> Going on? Nothing much. Your mother and I are breaking up. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> Don't forget to write or uh, color me a pretty picture. Hey, why do I get them? That's the natural order of things, Peg. You birth them, suckle them, take care of them. We hunt. <laughs> Al Bundy, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. Not only because you are a brainless, spineless, soapless idiot, but because you have no money. Oh, yes, I do, Peg. We husbands always have our hidden little nest eggs. Yes, and we wives always know about that little nest egg. You know the one you hid in the vacuum? I bought a new dress. And I found all the quarters that you hid in Bud's mattress. <laughs> So that's why my mattress was so lumpy. I kept dreaming that I was sleeping on tiny little breasts that jingled. Well, you got me, Peg. All my little hidey holes have been found out, except this one. Fiendishly clever. <laughs> you imbeciles. Don't you realize that's the only reason we men ever lift the seat? <laughs> Come on, bud, let's go. <laughs> I'm with you, Pop. No, you're not. I just need someone to help me push the car. <laughs> Thanks, Al. For the first time in our marriage, you're leaving me satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>